up. What is up? It's your boy, Jack Tag. Yes, I'm back with another week two of spring practice for my Ducks. Week two has been not so good because my boy Blaylen Addison got hit. Now, yes, this is a huge um, setback. But that only means one thing. Dwayne Stanford, you just got the number one wide receiver job. And our number two is going to be decided later. It's going to be probably more in summer practices than it is in spring. Um, it's going to be decided probably later, maybe later in the season. Maybe number two becomes a rolling position, which would be great if there was that much competition. And that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of competition. You know, I'll say to anyone that hey, you're crazy if you say, oh, Blaylon Addison's gone, you know, so the Ducks are, Ducks season is lost. No. Are you kidding me? Are you honestly joking with me? Because that's not true. And I'll explain why. Our third and fourth backups, B.J. Kelly, Chance Allen, um, you know, Dan Carrington, who has a wet wrist uh, injury, but he'll be fine by summertime. Um, and in fact, I'm pretty sure he'll still play in the spring game. I don't really think it's that serious. Um, but... Um, you know, B.J. Kelly, you know, and Chance Allen and, um, well, Jalen Brown, who's a newcomer, but, um, all younger guys that played in the second half, who would be the guys you would see in the second half of each Duck game, only didn't get that many wide... Um, receiving yards because one thing, we weren't passing the ball. When they were on the field, we weren't passing the ball because we were already up 42 nothing or, you know, some high number, you know, and we didn't need to pass the ball. We don't need to run up the score. We do, but that's just because our running backs are awesome. Um, but we don't run up the score just to run up the score, you know. We don't do, uh, uh, Alabama. We don't keep our starters in the whole entire game. Um, we don't do that. We, we play our starters, and then when we're beating your ass, we say, oh, yeah. Number twos, number threes. Go in. Can you stop on number twos? No. Can you stop on number threes? How about our walk-ons? We'll put on uh, our walk-on quarterback back there and see if you can stop him. Oh, you, it's a game now. It's a game now. Oh, okay. Um, he, you can actually hold us to three downs and force us to punt. You know, but it's not a big deal. Uh... We will miss Braylon because uh, he's a great player, great wide receiver, huge talent, and he's a huge weapon on the field. Don't get me wrong, not saying he's not. I'm just saying we have a whole bunch of weapons that haven't been used. You know, we got brand new guns, we got brand new, uh, you know, little rockets that, you know, haven't been used in uh, the. You know, with Marcus Mariota, you you thinking Marcus Mariota won't turn these guys into elite wide receivers? These guys are good. They they just weren't better than Josh Huff. They weren't better than uh, Dale Hawkins. They they just weren't better than Braylon Addison and the in the coach's mindset. So they didn't get a chance to prove on the field 
that they could play at an elite level. But what happens a lot of times when a player goes down, especially at number one, which Braylon Addison is, competition goes off the wall. And now the wide receiver competition has gone off the wall. And that's what we want, baby. That's what we need. We need these wide receivers being hungry, being like, when I get the ball, I'm making a touchdown every fucking time. I, when I get the ball, I'm going to score no matter if there's a wall in my way. I'm going to hurdle. I'm going to jump. I'm going to catch this ball no matter what. I'm going to make the play in the fourth quarter and be the one the fans are saying, oh, damn, he should be playing every single time. That's great. We don't, We have a lot of depth. And I'm not even mentioning some of our wide receivers because we have that much depth. I'm just pointing out some of our top tier guys. And Ken Lowe, yes, he's a great wide receiver. I don't think, I think he might be our number two, but I wouldn't say that because I, I'll say this right now. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown will be the other guy on the other side. It'll be Dwayne Stanford. When we come out in our first package, um, and if I'm wrong, I'll, I mean, I'm not going to call for it, but I'll say I was, you know, mistaken. If our first game, when our first team walks out there, it's going to be Dwayne Stanford, left to right, wide receivers now. I don't think I got to tell you the whole entire line, and um, but it's going to be Dwayne Stanford, Keen Lowe and Jalen Brown on the other side with uh, probably Pharaoh Brown uh, as our starting tight end. Um, and it'll be Tyna in the backfield, probably, most likely. Um, but that'll be it. Um, so, what's the news? Oh, Blaylon Addison, get better. Hope uh, Blaylon watches this because um, huge fan. Uh, and uh, hope you get better, man. Keep up. Um, don't worry about it. Us true Duck fans, see the fake Duck fans have land. The Duck fans that are fake, I got no love for them. I don't want, you know, if you want jump ship just because you think the bandwagon's going down, fine, the bandwagon will take off without you, and we'll see you trying to get on, and we won't let you jump back on. So, um, also want to say shout out to BVD and uh, Mr. DJ David. Um, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Appreciate it. Um, like, subscribe, go Ducks, love the O, yeah you know, it's your boy, Jack Attack.